Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jared New, and today we're going to be talking about my experience crate digging at the record parlor where they had 6,000 vinyl LP records all starting at a dollar each. Before we get to that, I made another video about the record parlor where they had 3,000 vinyl records all starting at a dollar each. And that was actually my first time checking out the record parlor, so if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you do so. What was different about this time was that not only did they have twice the amount of records, but these records were a wide assortment of lots of different genres of music, whereas the first time was uh, mostly just DJ records. I found out about this event by going into Facebook and immediately those 6,000 records kind of caught my eye. I'm like, man, that's a lot of records. <laughs> so I figured I'd, you know, drive down there and check it out. Last time when I went, I had a meter uh, that was only like two hours. This time, I actually parked at this $5 all day parking that was right next door to the record parlor. So I was really happy about that. I could pay five bucks and be there all day if I wanted to. So I didn't have to worry about that. So I could just focus on crate digging. And as I was walking up to the record parlor, in addition to seeing the records that were outside the store, I actually heard them play playing the doors. So I felt like that was a good sign. I love uh, the doors and I love good music like that. So I, I walked in there and I immediately, I had promised myself last time that I was gonna really check out their 45 selection. So I went there first, even before the, uh, the 6,000 records. So I went there and checked out the 45s and they had a lot of really great stuff. Everything from the Carpenters to like Aretha Franklin and all kinds of really cool stuff. So uh, I picked up some of those and uh, I was there for a little while. And then I decided to go outside. And outside is where they actually had all those 6,000 records. And man, they were, they were crates for days. They were, they were, all of them were in cardboard boxes and they were all put up on these tables, all kinds of genres of music. They had blues music, they had jazz, they had classical, they had rap, they had like everything under the sun. You name it, they had it there. And uh, so I was out there crate digging for a while. I can't tell you the number of crates that I went through. And then the last thing that I did whenever I was at their store was I went to their listening station and I noticed immediately they've totally upgraded their, their turntable at that listening station. And uh, it was great. The headphones didn't hurt you when you put them on. So that was fantastic. And so I was there and I listened to all of my musical selections. And it's so cool that you can listen to your music before you buy it. I really like that about the record parlor. Enough about me talking about my experience let me actually show you what I picked up this one I kind of got this for my mom she's a big uh, Eaglebert uh, Engelbert Humperdinck <laughs> it's kind of a hard name to say she's a big fan of him and uh, this record was in good condition I listened to it at the uh, listening station and uh, yeah I figured she would like it so I can play this for her sometime this one uh, is um, an industrial album this is by a band called D, D term and my, the band name might be longer than that but the stickers blocking it and what's neat about it is it's just a white label on this side and on this side so it gives you no musical information about it um, you know sometimes it's fun to buy records that you have absolutely no idea what the music is and then I got some good 45s here I got uh, three 45s first off we got Nat King Cole beautiful beautiful music I listened to this one while I was there and it is phenomenal. I love Nat King Cole. That old timey music is just fantastic. And he was one of the best singers like alive. So I really like, I'm, I'm really gonna enjoy listening to this one. Then I got uh, the Carpenters. I really like the Carpenters too. I mean, I'm a sucker for female vocalists. Karen Carpenter uh, was amazing. And uh, this is Make Believe It's Your First Time on this side. And then on this side, it is Look To Your Dreams. And the final 45 I got, and this one I think is really cool because it's still sealed. This is Diana Ross, Remember Me on this side, and How About You on this side. Completely sealed. All in all, it was a great experience going to the record parlor. I love that place. I can't wait to go back. So if you guys enjoyed this crate digging record parlor video and you want to see more just like it, go ahead and join the Vinylized community. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with a lot of great videos every Thursday and Saturday that you're not going to want to miss. Also, be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. Uh, all the links are in the description below. And also, drop me a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to make in the future because I'm taking suggestions. And also, most importantly, keep spinning that vinyl, and I will see you in the next video.